All right, so now we're going to take a look at part two. Uh, a moment ago, we constructed um, golden segments um, AB divided by AG. So now we're going to take those two uh, that we found, and um, we're going to make a golden spiral. So. You can actually, if you have enough room and your math work doesn't get in the way here, you could actually continue this construction along with the thing that you just did a moment ago, uh, if you even choose to continue along. Some students will, as soon as they get the location of G, just call it a day, and that's okay too. But if you want to take this one step further, um, here is something cool that you can do. So here's A. I need to go to my construction from a moment ago and get the location of B. I need to um, open this guy up a bit. Just a little bit more, a little bit less, somewhere in the middle. Right about there. Double check, sometimes it moves a little when you, uh... okay. So this is length AB. Here's B. Okay, now measure um, AG. And get my compass set to AG. About there. And with my AG distance, I'm going to stick my pivot point here at B. Swing an arc up there. Uh, stick my pivot point here at A and swing a similar arc above A. So those, um, we're going to get close to the uh, uh, golden rectangle here in a second. Okay, uh, I want a perpendicular here because I want this to be a rectangle, so let's close this guy up a little bit. Let me create two points on either side of B, one on the left, one on the right. Okay, open up my compass a little bit. Pivot point here, above B, pivot point here, intersect that last arc. Connect B through that intersection and all the way up to that arc that I swung that was AG a second ago. Okay. Um, similarly, extend this guy just a touch. Similarly, let's create another uh, perpendicular here at A. And uh, that'll be our rectangle, and then we'll start constructing the golden spiral. It's really fun. That is garbage. That is better, but still garbage, because the line is really, really thick. So I'm probably going to lose a little bit of accuracy here, but uh, if I were drafting this on a computer, it would be much more accurate, everything would be exact, and you could type in commands uh, with a geometry program that don't involve actually knowing numbers. You can just tell it to, like, bisect this and make it perpendicular to that, and it'd come out perfectly if I was using something like that. But I wouldn't be nearly as fun as with the construction equipments where you're stressing out all the time because of its inaccuracy, but don't worry. It only needs to be so accurate with this garbage equipment. All right, so uh, both of these verticals are, well, horizontal the way I'm holding it now, but vertical the way I'm holding it in a minute, uh, are the one unit as compared to the phi unit that um, the two horizontals are. So there is a golden rectangle uh, based exactly upon that golden section that I have there. Um, 
and here is the awesome fun stuff that we can do with the golden rectangle. So let's copy this one unit side length and we will uh, intersect the rectangle here and also put our pivot point down there and intersect it there. And now let us connect those two intersection points and this is just a square and this is another golden rectangle. Okay, what we're going to do now is open our compass to this length and we'll intersect there and there uh, and we'll connect these and that'll make another square and another golden rectangle. Uh, and then we will set our compass exactly to this distance. As exact as we can. It's pretty close. And we'll intersect there and again right there. And we'll connect that. And now we're getting really teeny, so this is probably not really even very accurate anymore. But we'll keep going for the sake of it. Uh, another smaller golden rectangle. We'll set our compass to that distance. And intersect here. And this is probably not that accurate anymore, but sort of get the idea what could happen if I had super accurate equipment. Um, is that these little golden rectangles and squares would spin off to uh, infinity. Um, the last thing that I'm going to do to make this really neat, sort of, is using uh, the compass set to this length, swing an arc from there to there. Okay. Oop, I think I moved my camera while swinging that arc. Uh, and now let's actually uh, close the compass a little bit. And about, about there. And we'll continue this arc with a smaller radius all the way up to there. And then I will make this radius a little bit smaller in one of these square side lengths. And uh, we will continue this arc along. Losing a little bit of accuracy now, for sure. Um, move it down here to this radius. Swing my arc along. And so on and so forth. And we can uh, generate our good friend, the Golden Spiral. Cool. based on your previous golden uh, section construction. So, golden spiral.